Hi everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov and today I want to show you a new NPM package for Cypress that I have written. The inspiration was for data creation. So in this test, before each test, I have to create two rooms. Well, I'm not sure if rooms were created or not, so I have to clear the rooms first. And then I register the user, log in, and I immediately see two rooms. So this is normal. We have to create a user, we have to set up data. And this happens again and again and again. In this case, I simulate an expensive data setup by adding weights. Now, this obviously works, the test passes, but it's slow. And we're paying the penalty of recreating the data, even if that data hasn't changed at all. So what can we do instead? Well, we can write custom code where we can say, get all the rooms. And if there are two rooms and the titles are what I expected to do, Right, then do nothing. Otherwise, create the rooms. So we are skipping initialization if the rooms of the data is still what we need it to be. Now, this happens so often in such a common situation that I have decided to write a utility. I was inspired by size session command that is used for creating the browser session and caching it. But I have decided that I need something for the data, not just for browser session. And I've written Cypress data session you can install it and start using it. So why don't we try using this module in our project? I'm going to stop Cypress and I'm going to add a dev dependency. Perfect. Now let's look at the instructions. Import the package from the spec or from the support file. Okay. I'll go into my support file. I have a couple of utilities there already. Uh, my Cypress watch and reload. So I'll just import or oh, I can use require, doesn't really matter, as long as my bundler includes that file. All right, so let's start Cypress again. So why don't I take this file, prepare rooms custom, that has this logic for checking the rooms and creating them, and I'll make a copy, and I'll call it data. All righty, I will keep running the uh, Cypress test while I'm refactoring the code. The first things we need to know what we can use, and it seems like there is a custom command called data session. In order for us to know what that command does and expects, let's say if I do sci data session right now, it has no type, so we will tell Cypress or our editor that we can load it from reference. Uh, Okay, so now the data session has a type. So we need three parameters, the name of that particular data. So in this case, I'll say rooms. And now I need two functions, right? One to set up the data if there is no data already. And another one is validate to check if existing data is still valid. So the best way, because it's going to be complicated, we're going to call separate commands is to have separate functions. So the first thing is I need to move all this logic into the setup function. So setup, all right. And what we can do, right, is yield something so that the validate can check it or not. So I think in this case, we still have to validate. So I'll say, uh, let's say return attic kitchen. So the titles of the rooms we have created in the setup. Okay, so we'll put the setup as the second argument. Now we need the third argument. We need the validation. And the validation will get wherever we yielded before, because that will be saved by Cypress automatically. And so the function validate to rooms will take titles, which will be this ones. Okay. And now it has to check if those titles are still valid, if there are only two rooms in the database and they have these titles. So we're going to use this utility, right? We're going to call a task, get rooms. This will return all the rooms from the database. We'll check if the number of rooms is the same as the number of titles. And then we'll say, okay, from each room, we want to get a title, right? So I'll say const. We're going to iterate over all rooms returned from the database. We'll get current titles and we'll spec those current titles to deep equal titles that we still have cached. 
and instead of an assertion we'll return we need to return an actual boolean and because there is no easy way to do a deep comparison we'll use a low dash utility that's bundled with Cypress. Okay. In this case, we don't even need this. We just need to return a boolean. And we're going to take this validate and move it right here. And now we don't need any. Okay, so we're using this data session that comes from Cypress data session. We need to give it a name. We have to provide separate setup and validation function. Let's see how this runs. Let's go back here. Now notice it says data session room so it starts it's the first time it actually sees session room there is nothing cached in cypress and object for this particular name and so it runs the setup clear rooms make room attic make room kitchen that comes from the setup to rooms method okay then if we run this now notice what happens here data session rooms found that there is there are titles and so it runs just to validate to rooms uses get rooms to fetch the current rooms from the database. Maybe our test set up another room or deleted the room. We cannot do that, right? But it returned two rooms. We check the titles and they're exactly what we expected them to be. So the rooms data is still valid. And so that's when we start the test. We don't have to set up the database. And notice how fast it is. Now you might say, okay, I don't need those rooms. Uh, I want to rerun the whole thing. Right now, unfortunately, you have to use a Cypress console. So you can say clear data session and give a name, rooms. And if you run the test again, again, see, this is the first time for session rooms, recreate them from scratch. And another thing you can do is disable the uh, data session altogether. So you can say Cypress data uh, sessions uh, and say false. And in this case, data sessions are disabled and you're going through the setup function again and again and again. So this is how you'd use Cypress data session to conveniently do conditional data setup by using a separate function, one, to set up the data if there is nothing cached, and now one is to validate. Make sure you yield something from your setup function that can be used inside the validation function to confirm that the data is still valid and no setup is necessary.